Okay, here's that last part of the paper towel dispenser. Um, I got my robot sitting in the, in the corner of the screen there, you can see it. I had some new parts to it. We'll go over those and kind of how the program needs, needs to run. Um, on the screen you see some different uh, sensors I have on my robot. Something here called a while loop. That's part of the um, topic of the day. And some more stuff, some if statements. But down here we have our values. This is my line follower, it's reading 3030 some. That's this guy right here, my line follower. And that we have it so when the light value dips, they put some shading on it. See it dips like 2700, 2600. So when it dips below that, it triggers to go to the next step. Okay. Um, the middle one here says potentiometer. That's a switch right here in the middle. It's kind of like a dimmer switch in which you can turn it. I just put an axle in the end of it. So you can twist it. You can twist it to either a low setting. And I was reading zero on the screen. I right, turn it clockwise, and I'm getting the 800 range, 1,000 range, 2,000 range, and full on is at 4,000. Okay, these are very delicate. These can bust pretty easily, so turn them gently. So full on is 4,090 something, and full off is at zero. Okay, and my touch switch, that's this guy right here. It's either a click on the one, off with the zero. And this little screen here, I'll close it. That is under when the program is running. I go to robot, debugger, sensors. There they all are. Okay? So the program needs to be able to dispense three paper towel lengths a short, a medium, and a long, depending on where the switch is positioned at. So right now I have it at zero. I'm going to get a short paper towel. So once my trigger gets compressed, the motor runs for a short period of time. So if you kind of try it again, or reset it, run it, it runs for a short period of time, powers off. Now I turn my dial, so I'm over zero, maybe the three to 400 range, or a thousand range, that works too. Reset it, now watch. So it runs for a longer duration of time. Reset it, try it again. And then my final one is gonna be, go to full speed, or full high. Reset it, try it again. So I guess, my, yeah, mine's running a little bit too long, but just for a demonstration. This long paper towel length should be your 10 and a half inch sheet of paper. I can turn it down to a medium length, and when it runs, it'll run less than that. Maybe like a six inch paper towel. And when I go to my short length and run it, here we're gonna have a three inch paper towel. So in a three inch setting, a six inch setting, and we need a full 10 and a half inch setting. So there's our last portion. Um, the coating you're seeing in the camera obviously, that we can help you with too. It's quite a bit of coding, but just not too bad. Um, let me stop the program. Get it out of the way so we can see behind it. And then kind of look at it a little bit here too. It uses some if statements. So here the green one says if my sensor dial, that's my potentiometer. If it's reading a value of less than 10, I run my motor for my short paper towel length of three inches. Then it says if my sensor dial is greater than 10 and, double and means and, 
the dial is reading a value of less than 4,000. Then it runs by medium length. So this is not zero or not full speed, anywhere in between. So I'm going greater than 10 and less than 4,000. My final one here says, if the central dial is bigger than 4,000, then go my full 10 and a half inch sheet of paper. The bottom code line down here, this until bump, this is, I call it my reset. This is like the simulating of your paper towel being torn off the dispenser. When it's torn off, it rips, it resets, and then it jumps back up again to the top of my program to wait for my hand to be, wait from the sensor to run it, okay? This while loop, this tells the computer to run this program forever and ever and ever, as long as one is equal to one. Um, coding is this double signs, double equals, the double and. This is the way the computer communicates to itself. Um, the brackets are pretty critical too, as you can see here in the, in the camera. Um, task main gets a left brace, while left brace, and then the very, very bottom of the program, here's my while right brace, task main right brace. Up here in the middle, on my if statements, I also get braces. So I'm saying if this brace means run this program from brace to brace, if this condition is true, if this condition is true, it runs this program from brace to brace. And then finally, if that condition is true, it runs this program. So you gotta find ourselves a potentiometer. This you already have. This you already have. The whole setup you already have. So one new piece, but it adds a ton of new coding. Um, this will help you with. Good luck.